Oh, this is a bad idea. We've got another electric kick scooter to look at today. Now this is the Kugu S1 Pro, and this has been sent over to me kindly from geekbuying.com. There will be links right down below as always. Come on, oh yes, here it comes. Oh my God. I'm starting to see a scooter. It's got a carry bag charger, an instruction guide, and an electric scooter. There we go. One charger battery pack. And what I like about these guys is they give you the European plug and the British United Kingdom plug as well. I've got a product seal of approval. Do you know what is absolutely awesome? These little handlebar ends, they light up. I mean, look at that. Oh no, I can't slow down. Oh no. Keith Bryan said, look, do you want this scooter for review? And I said, yeah, I do. Whoa, it's got some torque. Oh my God, it's so fast. Nearly died, guys, nearly died. Oh yeah. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that this is faster than the ES4 from Ninebot Segway, but it is certainly good fun. And for a guy that weighs 105 kilos, it's going all right here for me today. We've got ourselves a slight hill here, guys. I'm gonna show you how this scooter tackles inclines. So this scooter looks really good, right? Let's take a close up look at it now and I'll go through a few of the technical specifications to tell you all about it. As I said before, this is the Kugu S1 Pro and we're gonna start at the front here because this is the business end. We've got 350 watts of power in this motor up front. and that's powered by 18650 cells in series. They are lithium iron, they sit on the board itself underneath here, and obviously that gives you about 30 kilometer an hour top speed. Let's try not to fall off again. It's hard with one hand to, to film guys and to steer this thing, it really is, oh my God. And it should give you about 30 kilometers of range, but that's dependent on weight, weather conditions, and other factors as well. Now, if we look at the tires, you can see straight away, they are actually solid. They're not inflated. They've got these little holes in them. And the idea of that is it will take some of the blow from the road and the surface that you're riding on. But um, some of the downfalls for these are they're quite a hard ride, but a positive is that you will never get a flat tire. I'm truly impressed with how these tires are gripping all the terrains we're on today, guys. We've been on smooth tarmac, we've been on grass, we've been on dirt, we've been on very bumpy, loose gravel like this. And they're doing really, really well. I'm very impressed with it. Moving back a little bit further here, you can see there's a mud guard that stops any dirt from getting onto you and your clothing. Coming back a bit further, you can see the folding mechanism for the scooter. We'll show that in a minute. There's a grippy grip tape to stand on. You can see the scooter does look quite well built. It's got some nice metal components to it. It looks well engineered. I've been running for about half an hour now. The battery's still got about ooh, 65, 70% left. You can see the rear wheel straight away with the same design. It's the hollow solid tire design, not inflated. You can see the wheel bearings that sit in there. Looking here, you can see the beginning of the rear brake that you can push on to slow down. And underneath here, well, I will show you this in a minute, there is actually a shock absorber as well for the rear to give you some cushioning on the roads. Now, let's move on up to the handlebars and the stem itself. You can see Kugu written on it straight away, and uh, you can see some headlights right here. I'm just gonna turn you around this way. That's where your front headlights come out from and you can see onto the road and where you're going. Also, the handlebars themselves, they've got a cracking design. Now, I really like this. You literally just move it into place, just watch this. And that's it. The handlebar's now in place and that happens on both sides. Yeah! We've got the little display here, which will show you shortly when I switch this thing on, and you can see how the scooter's performing, the three different modes that it can run in, and also the battery that's remaining. We're at 25 kilometers an hour uphill. 
So the one letdown to this scooter is the fact it doesn't have a smart app connect support, so you can't use your phone to update the firmware and uh, monitor the device itself. But it does have, for people like myself, a higher load bearing. So it can take up to 120 kilos, which is really good. Oh yeah! So this scooter has a 7.5 amp hour battery pack, which charges in just three hours. Let's go ahead then and look at the charging process for this thing. Little port down here, plug it in. All right, so to turn this thing on, you've got a bunch of buttons here. We're gonna press this one in the middle, it's the power button. The scooter then turns on. You've got multiple options on this. So obviously this is the accelerator and then this is the brake. If we press this button here, it's the horn. If we press this button here, it cycles through the modes, one, two, and three. So eco, standard and sport. If you press this button here, it puts the headlights on the front and on the rear. Current battery voltage, you've got the battery level itself, you've got the speed you're traveling at. We're at full speed now, 30 kilometers an hour. We're absolutely flying along here. Hope you can see in the background. You've got the total distance you've traveled here and the time you've been traveling for. But I forgot to do one of the most important jobs of all, putting the handlebar ends in that light up. They are so cool though, look at that! You've got flashing, you've got solid on and off. Three, two, one, go! And we're ready to rock and roll, let's go! And you have to ignore my hair because I've been wearing a helmet for the last 45 minutes and it's hot today. Ultimately, it is a good product. I quite like this scooter, and I'm gonna take it out for some more trips in the future. First impressions on the Kugu S1 Pro. It's very positive, really. The ride was pretty good. The scooter itself loosened up, if you know what I mean, after the first sort of kilometer or so, and it felt really nice to ride. The rear suspension held my weight okay, and uh, it was really quite easy to ride as well. It was quite nice with these sort of soft rubber grips on the handlebars, you know, and the grip tape on the board there. It makes it really quite hard to fall off unless you hit a tree root down a steep bank. <laughs> I would also recommend never to run this battery completely flat. Lithium iron has to be balanced and charged correctly. If it's discharged too far, you could damage the battery pack. Stay tuned for the terrain testing video with this so we can see what this can really do. If you're interested in one of these and picking one up, have a look on geekbuying.com's website. I've got a link right down below and you'll see this exact model and you can pick one up for yourself and have a bit of fun. See you later on.